Hey, I'm SF Mike and I'm here today to answer all your questions. Yes, there are a certain amount of questions that keep popping up on my YouTube channel and I've decided to do one video here right now to answer those very common or popular questions that keep popping up. Now, they're not questions that I have ignored in the past. You'll probably find that I have answered them before on Facebook or I have answered them before on other YouTube videos, but obviously I get new subscribers, new new viewers daily and they come on and they ask the same question which I've answered before so I've decided to do a question and answer video a Q&A if you like and hopefully that will help now while I'm answering your questions I decided to throw up a little video of me stripping down my ACP action combat pistol the pistol that has never worked correctly since the day I bought it however I'm going to show you a video of me stripping it down and trying to uh, swap out and change certain parts just so there's something for you to look at while I'm answering your questions now before I kick off with the first question I will say this Sometimes I don't get a chance to look at and respond to every question that I get on my YouTube videos. That's why I have an associate that helps me out. And this is how it works. For example, if you throw up a comment or a question on any of my reviews, he sees them pretty much straight away. I don't. Because of my uh, other life, my other work life, uh, my busy life, I don't always get to see the questions straight away. So what happens is, more often than not, he sees them first. If they are the troll type questions, you know, the haters, <laughs> that sort of thing, he deals with those, he deletes it and gets rid of those people. And all the normal comments or questions are left in place. So that's positive or negative comments, it doesn't matter. As long as they're non-abusive, okay, they're left. And then at some point later on in the day or possibly the next day, I will see them and I will try to respond or reply to every single comment or question. Sometimes he will respond or reply on my behalf, but not using my account. He has his own YouTube account, his own name, and he may reply, but very rarely. All he does is filter out the nonsense, as in the haters and the trolls, so that I don't even get to see them most of the time. Um, all I get to see is the normal comments, whether they're positive or negative. I will get to see them at some point and I will try and respond. And again, if you notice that you've left a comment or question and I don't respond, it's because sometimes other YouTubers will respond for you or I've answered that question before on that same thread of comments or on another video, okay? Um, it's not because I'm ignoring you and it does get a little bit more difficult to respond and to see all the comments that I get as I get more and more subscribers. But hey, I do my best and that's why I'm doing today's Q&A. Okay, so let me quickly address another issue that I have noticed. Some of you have your YouTube settings set in a way so that nobody can reply to your comment. And if nobody can reply to your comment, I can't reply to your comment either. Let me give you an example. Have a look at this. There's a comment there by one of my uh, viewers. And as you can see, just below the comment, it says reply. So that means anyone can reply to that comment. However, look below, there's another comment by one of my uh, YouTube viewers. And look, there's no reply button. Did you know that some of you have YouTube channels where your settings are set so that there is no, or there are no reply buttons? So that means nobody, including me, can reply to your message. So, if ever you wonder why I never reply to your comments whenever you put them on my videos, or nobody else replies to your comments whenever you put them on my videos, it's because there is no reply button. Most people do have one, some people don't. Check your YouTube settings. But of course, you may want it like that. You may not want people to reply to you. That's all good. But if you didn't know this, <laughs> I'm telling you now, some of you have your settings set in such a way that nobody can reply. Just putting it out there. So, let's kick it off. And in no particular order, I'm gonna start with this one. Airsoft Mike, 
Where do you buy your airsoft guns from? Well, to answer you, I buy them from anywhere and anyone. Now, when I say anyone, what I mean is I, I don't buy secondhand guns from, say, another airsofter. I always buy brand new. And sometimes that could be from an online airsoft store or sometimes it could be from an airsoft store that I walk into. OK, so it's all different various retailers that I buy from. I don't buy from just one particular. I do have one or two airsoft retailers that give me good prices. Um, basically, just to get some gear cheaper than, say, what you would pay for them. And whenever that does happen, I give a mention to that airsoft store. And trust me, I really do buy from nearly all airsoft retailers. Obviously, it's going to be mainly the ones in the UK. I do branch out and buy from different retailers in different European countries. And I sometimes buy from Evic. Now, I like to pronounce it Evike because that's what it looks like. But apparently you pronounce it Evic, I believe. But anyway, that's in the United States. Um, I don't buy guns from Evic. I might buy accessories, equipment, you know, uh, parts. For example, one of my Glocks failed on me and I needed to replace a part. Now, when I say failed on me, it's only because I was tinkering around with the internals and I messed something up and I needed a special part. And I, of course, naturally searched in the UK first, couldn't find it. So I went stateside online to Evic and bought it from there. Now, another question. Oh, before I move on to another question, what I'm gonna do now, and you'll probably find this already in most of my video reviews, that I will list all the airsoft retailers that I know that will stock a particular airsoft gun that I'm doing a review on, okay? So you won't find a direct link to one specific airsoft store unless that particular video is sponsored. And I'll talk to you about airsoft sponsorship and being sponsored or being supported by an airsoft company. I'll talk to you about that in a moment. But as I mentioned, I will never put a direct link to a specific gun to a specific airsoft retailer unless that gun was given to me for free to review. And that does not happen as often as some of you may think. I actually purchase most of my airsoft guns. But anyway, we'll get back to the whole sponsorship thing in a moment. Right, so another common question I do get is airsoft mic. Why do your guns not have orange tips? Well, this isn't America. This is the UK. We're not required to have orange tips on airsoft guns. Okay? Next question. Mike, why don't you do gameplay videos? <laughs> now, this one comes up a lot. Now, I have explained before on other videos, so I'll explain it right here, right now. Um, the main reason is, is that my channel focuses on unboxing brand new airsoft guns and accessories, equipment, okay? That's the main focus of my channel. However, my plan is to upload some gameplay videos and they will be coming soon. I have had some people say, you don't have any gameplay videos. Well, the people that say that are the ones that haven't actually looked through my list of videos and it's cool. There are a few there, so I don't expect you to be searching through my videos. But if you just go through my channel and in the search box on my channel, just put gameplay, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. And you will find one or two gameplay videos. Only one proper one, the other ones are a bit rubbish. But there's one proper gameplay video there uh, that gives you an idea of uh, some of the gameplay uh, videos that I can do and will do in the future. So they are coming, okay? I do promise. There is another reason why I'm not doing them at the moment, but that is personal. But um, yes, they are coming. Okay, so next question. Mike, are you going to do giveaways? Now that question is very popular. Okay, as I have mentioned in other videos, yes, 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 yes. I will be doing giveaways. Not yet, but I will. I will do it when I have everything set up correctly. Okay, now when I say set up correctly, I'm talking about the guns 
okay? The airsoft gun side of things, because it's not that easy in the UK to just be giving away riffs, okay? There are certain things in place or certain responsibilities that I have before I start just giving away guns, okay? Now, in terms of gear, like, like for example, clothing or patches or, I don't know, BBs or, you know, other stuff related to airsoft apart from guns, I could start giving them away now or next week. In fact, I probably will do that in the next two or three weeks. But the guns, you're gonna have to wait for that. Okay, so we move along to the next question and the question is, Airsoft Mike, why do you have so many airsoft guns? You don't need that many airsoft guns. What's the point? Why so many airsoft guns? Now, if I was a rude and arrogant person, I would probably respond like this. Uh, it's my money. I do what I want with my money. Mind your own business. But I'm not rude. So I'm gonna give you a polite and sensible reply. I'm not your normal airsofter. It's not a case of, wow, look at me. I've got so many guns. Nah, 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 nah. No, that's not the point. I have this many guns because I'm a collector, but more importantly, I'm a reviewer. I review this stuff. So I get stuff sent to me or I buy a lot of my stuff and unbox it and review it for you. I don't have this many airsoft guns because I need this many airsoft guns to play airsoft, no. That's not the point, you're missing the point. The point is I unbox and review airsoft gear. Simple as that. And another question I get sometimes is, Airsoft Mike, how do you deal with the trolls, the haters? Well, a quick answer to that is I don't deal with them. I have somebody else that does that, as I mentioned before. Anyway, next question. Mike, where do you play airsoft? Okay, where do I play airsoft? I'll tell you this, all the way around the country, okay? Mainly in London, okay, mainly in London. Um, like places like Bunker 51 and places like that I have been. Um, I plan to go to the mall. I plan to go to the sand pit. I plan to go to dark water. Um, all different places I plan to go to, but believe it or not, I mainly play on private ground, private land, okay? Um, just outside of London, not too far from where I live. Um, I live in London, but right on the outskirts. Uh, but so yeah, pretty much. And most of my family, believe it or not, live in America, in Miami and New York, okay? So when I go over to Miami, um, I plan to go over to their airsoft sites and see if I can have a game or two over there. Um, very little or very few of my family members were actually uh, born and live in the UK. The majority are born and live in the US. In fact, I spent most of my childhood, not most, sorry, some of my childhood uh, in America, specifically Fort Lauderdale. But I was born and raised here in the UK. Now, next question. Mike, are you sponsored? Okay, now this question comes up a lot. Now remember, not all of these questions come to me on my YouTube channel. Sometimes people uh, email me via my website. Sometimes people contact me via the YouTube messaging system. So only I see the question. So, Airsoft Mike, are you sponsored? Well, to answer that question, yes and no. Now, you might be thinking, what do you mean yes or no? So either you're sponsored or not. Well, let me tell you this. I have different periods in my life where I am sponsored. Because sponsorship is not always a lifetime thing, okay? So for example, in the past, I was sponsored by one particular airsoft company. That naturally came to an end. Then I got sponsored by another airsoft company. Now when I say sponsored, meaning if I wanted to go anywhere, like play an airsoft game at a particular site, they'd pay for it for me, okay? Or if I wanted a particular gun to use at that site, they'd pay for it for me, okay? Or they'll send me clothing with their company name on it, hoping that I'll wear it and it's filmed during my gameplay. And I haven't done that yet, okay? Um, as far as airsoft guns and equipment that I review, technically, I'm not sponsored because the majority, and I would say about 95% of all the guns that I show you on my YouTube channel, I pay for myself, okay? 
About 5% is sent to me for free or heavily discounted so that I can give the company a mention, okay? So that's how my channel works. Now, next question. Airsoft Mike, how long have you been airsofting for? That's an interesting question. If you take the word airsoft or airsofting literally, that actually means the actual uh, motion, if you like, of actually playing airsoft. Airsofting isn't just owning a BB gun or an airsoft gun, okay? So if your question is how long have I been airsofting? Only a year, believe it or not. But how long have I had BB guns or airsoft guns? Years. But it's only in the last, say, 11 or 12 months that my collection has gone from just owning about three guns or airsoft guns to the vast amount of guns that I own now. So most of the guns that you see up on my wall, on my rack and all over the place, I bought those all in the last 11 months. Okay, so on to the next question. Airsoft Mike, do you use these airsoft guns in movies? Now that's a very interesting question. Uh, to answer that, yes. One of my many ventures in life is a little uh, film production unit, okay? so we make little movies or we assist other companies um, in making movies. And when I say other companies, I don't mean my mates, yeah, or my friends, yeah? <laughs> I'm talking actual companies that I've given my services to, to um, uh, make movies and stuff and sometimes uh, supply certain airsoft guns and things like that. And I have my own little project where I make my own movies and I use certain airsoft guns in these movies. So there's your answer to that question. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. And this question I find fascinating. Other airsofters sometimes get offended. And I say that because I look and see some of the replies that a person gets when they ask this question. There's nothing to be offended about. I find it quite amusing and quite interesting. Here's a question. Airsoft Mike, would you not prefer real guns? Why do you have all these toy guns? Okay, <laughs> I don't find that offensive, I find it funny. My answer to that question, and obviously this question has been put up there by real gun owners, I presume, or maybe not. Could be airsofters put that up there as well, I don't know, but here's my answer. Would I prefer real guns? The answer to that question is no. I love airsofting, as in going to an airsoft game and shooting at people with little BBs, meaning they won't get killed and they won't get seriously injured. It's a game. I can't go to an airsoft event with a real gun because people will get killed and I'll be in prison. Okay, so of course you can't use real guns in airsoft. So that's how I'm gonna answer that question. No, I would not prefer a wall of real guns because that means I won't be able to do airsoft with those guns, okay? I'm about airsofting. And remember, I live in the UK. This is not America, okay? Where the gun laws are very different. In the UK, yes, you can own like shotguns, real shotguns and things like that. But obviously you have to get a license and there's a certain criteria which you have to follow to be able to own a real gun. Yes, I am fascinated by real guns, but I don't wish or want to own one. I have no reason to own a real gun. I'm just into airsoft and airsofting and airsoft guns that look like real guns. And let me tell you this, to those out there who feel airsoft or BB guns are a complete waste of time and it's all about real guns, how about this? Did you know a lot of real gun manufacturers make or at least license airsoft guns to be produced, okay? So it's not, all, it's not the complete divide that people think that real gun or real steel manufacturers hate airsoft. Yeah, some do, <coughs> Glock, anyway. But other makers of real guns actually do condone or do license airsoft guns to be made exactly like the real thing. So there is a love there between the real steel and airsoft guns. Okay, so I hope that has answered most of the most commonly asked questions on my YouTube channel. 
there will be another Q&A later on in the year. Feel free to pop more questions in the comment section. Right now, I just want to thank you very much for watching today. And thank you to all my subscribers, all my followers on Twitter. There's not many on Twitter, but there's loads of subscribers on YouTube and loads of people that have liked my Facebook page. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have now, as you have just seen, fitted the new replacement hammer assembly and loading nozzle. Now, for those of you who remember my first review of this gun, my issue was there was hardly any power there. The slide was hardly going back. The BBs were hardly flying out the barrel. It was just a complete mess on my first review. I did ask for some tech help for you all to be commenting below that original video. I got various um, uh, suggestions and stuff. And in amongst all of that, APS themselves, yes, the actual makers of this gun, saw that first review and got in contact with me. First of all, thank you very much. That's really heartwarming and it's like I was really chuffed that actual manufacturers of airsoft guns are noticing my videos. So I was really happy about that. So they got in contact with me. They were obviously concerned about the issues I was having with this new gun. So they kindly sent me out a replacement hammer assembly and loading nozzle. They're now fitted in there. I'm now gonna try this gun. Some of you did suggest that the CO2 that I was using was rubbish and I need to get some quality ones. Um, I was told, nah, don't bother. The CO2 that I was using is fine. So I didn't buy any new CO2. It's still the same CO2 in this magazine that I had in the first review. Right, okay, so let's wrap the slide. Oh! <laughs> Let's see if another shot is gonna happen. No, there's my issue. Still the same issue. 